It's the 5th of August 2022 and my very short, concise, brief upload for today for the interest of recovery advocates throughout the world is with regard to the matter of the ongoing obstructions and societal obstacles that I'm experiencing since becoming a married mother and property owner in a democracy in 2015. Um, the human rights violations due to hate crime have been quite intolerable and they've insulted many facets of society and today's upload is mainly with regard to the topic of false reporting that's been occurring. Um, it, it's, it's, it's an ongoing issue in this community that people's privacy isn't safe, people's per personal lives aren't safe due to people walking into premises and properties and proximity and privacy where they've no right to be. So as I've mentioned throughout this documentary, they've they've resorted to defamation and slander of character and false reporting. Um, now today, like in one instance of today, um, in the past few hours, I can easily say I've had to take footage of my surroundings where I live on my own. I live on my own um, peacefully, healing from doctors' own um, disobedience or disrespect to the Hippocratic Oath. So I, I'm treating medical negligence and there are doctors um, that have disrespected the Hippocratic Oath thinking they're in a position to exacerbate their wrongdoings against my bodily integrity while agencies of the state have been prospering from me. So um, the issue of offences being exacerbated by liabilities in society risking children's lives is an issue I take very seriously as a mother and as a teacher whose professional life has also been damaged by liabilities um, from education areas um, that haven't been very courteous or very knowledgeable in their agendas in this community that haven't been contributing positively to society and that haven't been setting a good example to young children's lives. So the teaching profession has been damaged as well. Um, the role of the authorities has been harmed, I might add, when there's breaking and entering occurring and harm caused to my child unlawfully from my care. So turning a blind eye seems to be the easy option for these liabilities and they haven't given thought to consequence. So this is happening since 2017 and it's now 2022 and not one decent, sane-minded, sensible, intelligent, courteous, dignified, respectful human being from Doyle Aaron or any agency of the state has had the common sense to address this with me personally. So they've just decided to isolate, withhold, ignore and deny and refute and in the meantime they're living off my wealth and my work. So today is about the false reporting, the exacerbation and slander of character and how my hometown, my community where I was born and bred has become a very unsafe place and how my farms in Arkfart and Conflin have become very, very much endangered due to the damages, defamation and debt surrounding this entire scandal in County Kerry that Dolaren is ignoring.